George Floyd may have died thousands of miles away from London, but the shock and anger at his death was also felt here in the capital. There were many protests and thousands marched through central London. In the latest in our series, marking the anniversary of the murder, Antoine Allen met with the organisers of those protests in Hyde Park on why they marched and their hopes for the future. In the UK, there's many George Floyd. In the case of um, people that have been uh, a victim to the institutions in the UK. Last year in Hyde Park, tens of thousands of people joined the Black Lives Matter protests that were organised by a small group of young people with big ambitions for change. Black Lives Matter! Since helping to coordinate the protests, the members of Justice for Black Lives say they've received death threats, online racist abuse and that they're now fearful of revealing their identities. You know, I've had like racist comments on my posts or in my DMs. But that really messed with my anxiety. Yeah. yeah. I was considering deactivating my social media for a bit, wow. like, but how am I going to circle, circulate um, the information? It makes us scared to go out, but yeah. we will because this think. fight needs to yeah. continue. You spoke of the pride you had on the day of the march and the fear you've had since the death threats you've received due to the work that you're doing. But in terms of your hopes for the future, what are those? We can um, educate a lot of young people and help them understand, um, you know, what's going on and how they can get involved. And it's amazing to see that kind of sense of solidarity in that sense. You know, you're not born racist. It's exactly. something that happens over yeah. time. Yeah. And I, I'm really emboldened and inspired by those kids as well mm, to right. carry on our work, oh, to carry on our work in the community. Black Lives Matter UK received over £1.2 million in donations. Justice for Black Lives is one of the grassroots organisations that were awarded funding by BLM UK. In the summer, the nearly £4,000 they received will be used for food programmes and political workshops for young people in Brixton. Now we've kind of accrued skills, had political education, built community with each other, so I think there's also a lot of strength in how we're feeling. Throughout history, London streets have been a hotbed of activism from the 1976 Notting Hill Carnival riots and the 1981 Brixton riots. Since 1958, broadcaster Alex Pascal has covered black British protest movements. We had ways of talking to each other, engaging with each other, not from islands, but as a body of black people. And they were not only black. If you observe it, they were black, white, and what I always call the indifferent, coming together in all ages, from all classes, and that's a very good sign for change. The chants and marches eventually fall silent. But the spirit and determination for change continues throughout generations. Antoine Allen, ITV News.